Hi guys, regular guy here. You know, I'm just going to use this first clip to introduce my videos. Um, this location gave me mostly squirrels, and the next one is raccoons. However, I did the full 7.1 miles today walking, so I got a lot of bonus footage. You might want to stay tuned for that. That's actually pretty cool. And, um, yeah, so this... The squirrels there. Two locations on this. Watch inside the circle. Whoop. <laughs> I don't know what that was all about. I really don't. But um yeah. Wasn't too much going on at this location, just a lot of squirrels. Oh, and a and a bird. I think it's a called an egret, one of the white ones. Down in Florida we see flocks of them in our yard. I'd like to give a big shout out to everyone who spoke to me on the trail today. Thanks, guys. You're the ones that make this all interesting. There's one of them white birds. Keep an eye on this guy, though, because he does something pretty cool. Well, not in this clip, but the next one. Yeah, there's a, a squirrel up in the right-hand corner there. Not in the corner, but on the extreme left, uh, right side. I see him kind of sitting there and munching on something. But here's that bird I was telling you about, that egret. It's pretty cool what he does. He walks over to that tree and just like magic, yoink! Pulls out a frog. Lunch. Yum, yum. I thought that was pretty cool. And here's my other location. Um, raccoons. Raccoons is what I got. And this guy, I thought he was just going to try and cross this little creek, this little canal, but um, he's actually fishing. Did every catch frogs, crayfish, fish? I didn't see him catch anything, but good luck to you, Mr. Fisherman. And here's a couple of raccoons. And then I thought they were going to be fishing, but they're just crossing. But, you know, that one there, whoop, he, kind of an opportunist. He was looking for something. And there's something in the woods there. I don't quite know what it was. I've slowed it down. I've looked at it. I've looked at it. I think it's a bobcat, but I'm not sure. And I'm not sure if this is the same set of raccoons. Could be a different pair. I don't know. But they walk by and, yeah, there's a little froggy in the water there. Keep an eye. I don't think I've ever caught a frog on camera before. There he goes. And there he is. The raccoons would have liked to find him, but they didn't. They went around and crossed the stream, and they're acting like two different raccoons. They're not as lively as the, the other ones. And here's some bonus footage. This was a a yellow rat snake, I guess. I don't know. There's a uh, an alligator sitting on that log, about two foot, maybe thirty inches. There's a wild boar way in the back there. I had my phone zoomed in. I'm guessing he was fifty yards away, maybe. I had him zoomed in, and then I'm using the software to, to zoom it in a little bit more. You can see him. I know you can. These are beauty berries. <laughs> These are for Amanda. <laughs> this was a wild, another boar I saw. I was walking and he was maybe 15, 20 feet away from me. And off to the left, I heard another one, but I didn't see it. So I just concentrated on this guy. He's rooting. He's looking for something. There must be something down there he smells. And here's another one of those uh, 
Wingless wasp. Yeah, the velvet ant. It was in the shadow, and I had to use the uh, flashlight on my phone. So he actually looks like he's green screened onto the tree. But he was real. And here's just a, a sea of yellow flowers. I thought it was pretty interesting. Here's just a scene I thought was kind of neat. There's another alligator sitting on, you see that big log? He's sitting on the one underneath. I don't know if you can really see him very well. He's in the shadow. and I was kind of far away. And more beauty berries for Amanda. Here's a pygmy rattlesnake. I know it's it's kind of hard to see him. But, you know, I carry the six-foot walking stick just for such occasions. Kind of tried to get him to move there. and You know, as I was trying to get around him, he actually did do a little strike at the stick. As I was uh, making my way around him, I tried to get him to not stretch out all the way across the trail, even though he was only, I mean, if he was 14 inches, uh, I'd be surprised. There's a uh, flower. There's that rat snake here. I think it's a yellow line rat snake. And here it is. I saw him on the right side of the trail, and he crossed the trail. Or she crossed the trail. I'm not sure. I'll have to take a look. But he's got a bulge in the middle. Yeah, it's a he. He's got a bulge in the middle there. I, I don't know what he might have eaten. Looks sizable, though. And even though he's got that little bulge, I guess stripes do make you look thinner because, yeah, it's working for him. It's going around the tree. Oh, he was tasting the air there. I guess he tasted something he didn't like. You know, when they flick their tongue out like that, what they're doing is they're gathering air particles. And they, when they put it in their mouth, they put it on the roof of their mouth on what's called the Jacobs or Jacobson organ. And it, you know, he's basically tasting the air. Some flowers. Got a few pictures of flowers. Here's a, uh, a stream. Well, it, it's running water. You don't normally see it's a black bear. But we've had so much rain lately. Yep. Here's a butterfly. Now, if you guys have ever tried to take a video of a butterfly close up, you know it's kind of tough because they they fly kind of wonky. But it was a it was a good size. I mean, this this thing was like the size of my hand. It was it was a good size butterfly. Hi guys, regular guy here. Uh, the camera doesn't pick up what I'm seeing, but I just want you guys to know that you know there's a lot of things out here if you just look if you just take a second to stop and let nature surround you there's all kinds of wildlife and flora and fauna both sides there's just flowers and the wilderness I mean how can you not love this look at this how can you not love this there's a few more flowers. You know, the fall time flowers, they're just just as nice as the springtime flowers. There's a just a, a scene I thought was pretty cool. Another flower. And thanks for watching the regular guy. Like, share, and subscribe. <laughs>